Let's look at this question. Um, the question says that suppose you have u is equal to x y is equal to x into one plus y. This is the question. This is the utility function which is given to you. Price of x is one. Price of y is two. Income is ten. And they are saying that draw ICC income consumption curve and angel curve. and angel curve for the same. So this is a simple question. Uh, pause the video, try to do it yourself first. So given this, that you're given with this utility function, we first need to know whether the indifference curve which is going to be generated by this utility function is convex or not. For that, we need to check whether MRS is diminishing or not. So what is the MRS? That is del u by del x upon del u by del y. Del u by del x is, so it is 1 plus y. And del u by del y is just x. Del u by del y is x. So in order to check whether MRS is diminishing or not, we'll check as x is increasing, whether MRS is falling or not. You can see it very easily here. So if x is increasing, MRS is falling. You can also, Take up the derivative too. That is diminishing. So MRS is diminishing. One thing. So that would imply that indifference curves are <coughs> convex. Indifference curves are convex. Now, <clears throat> the the uh, main thing about indifference curves being convex are that the optimum can be given by the tangency of the budget line and the uh, and the indifference curve. So, at optimum, the slope of the budget line and the slope of the indifference curve is going to be equal. What is the slope of the indifference curve? MRS. What is the slope of uh, the budget line? <clears throat> Px by Py. So at optimum, MRS is equal to Px by Py. What is MRX? 1 plus y upon x equals to Px by Py. That is 1 upon 2. That is 1 upon 2. So you have x equals to 2 plus 2y. You have x equals to 2 plus 2y. Now what you can do is that you can put this uh, x equals to 2 plus 2y back into the budget constraint in order to get the value for uh, optimum value for x and y. Right. So put x equals to 2 plus 2y <clears throat> in budget constraint. Budget constraint is what? Px into x plus py into y equals to m. What is px? Px is 1. x plus py. Py is what? 2 into y equals to m. Income is what? 10. Right? So in place of x, I can write 2 plus 2y <clears throat> plus 2y equals to 10 plus 2y plus 2y equals to 10. So what do you have? You have 4y equals to 8, y equals to 2. So when y is equal to 2, then x plus 2 into y equals to 2 equals to 10. So x is equal to 6 x is equal to 6. So one thing is that you have found out the optimum, although that is not what is being asked. But when we'll be drawing the ICC, this will be used. Right? This is going to be used. Fair enough. Achha, when you draw the income consumption curve, that is the locus of all equilibrium points when income is being changed. No? So it is like this. So 
you have x here, you have y here. So here, this budget line is given by, I should write properly, it is x plus 2y equals to 10. So when x is 0, y is 5. When y is 0, x is 10. Mm -hmm. This is there. This is the budget line. And uh, given this, we are getting the solution somewhere there. x6, x is 6, y is 2. Fair enough. Now what we'll do? We will try to write it like this. So when income is reduced now, let's say to 8, then what happens? Your budget line becomes x plus 2y equals to 8. In place of x, you can write 2x plus 2 plus 2y. You can write 2 plus 2y. Plus 2y equals to 8. That is 4y equals to 6. y equals to 3 by 2. Right, y equals to 3 by 2. <clears throat> so, x plus 2 into, in place of y, you write 3 by 2, equals to 8. So, this 2, 2 will get cancelled out. x would be equal to 5. So, when income is now reduced to, let's say, 8. So, when x is 0, y is 4. When y is 0, x is 8. This is the budget line when income is 8. And uh, you are getting this. Right? You're getting this. X is 5 and uh, Y is 1.5. 1.5. Fair enough. Okay. Now you can just reduce it further. I'll I'll give one more example. When income is two, right? Then in that case, budget line is p x into x. That is one into x plus p y into y. That is two into y equals to two. Income is two. In place of x, you guys will write what? Plus y. So you have what? 4y equals to 0. y is equal to 0. And if y is equal to 0, then x plus 2 into 0 equals to x is equal to 2. So when income is reduced to 2, right? So that is when y is, when x is 0, your y is 1. When y is 0, x is 2. That is what it is. So, I will go very down. Right? No? When x is 0, y is 1. That is what it is. When y is 0, x is 2. Now, here, you have the case for A solution. So you are going to consume here. X is 2 and Y is 0. That's what it is. X is 2, Y is 0. What is income consumption curve? Income consumption curve is the locus of all equilibrium points which you will be getting when income is changing. This is what the income consumption curve will look like. And income consumption curve is given by what? It is given by this expression. Now, this is your <coughs> this expression. Your this expression. Right? That is what the income consumption curve is. 
consumption curve. So income consumption curve is this guy only. So x is equal to 2 plus 2y. Or you can write in terms of y that is x minus 2 upon 2. Right? x minus 2 upon 2. So income consumption curve is drawn in xy space. Right? Drawn in xy space. Keeping prices constant. Only income is changing. So when income is changing, prices are constant. How uh, uh, you are finding out how, how the equilibrium is changing. And the set of all, uh, the locus of all equilibrium points there is giving you the income consumption. That is the point. So this is the expression for ICC. This is the expression for ICC. That is the same thing here. Right? So if the question comes, find the expression for ICC and uh, draw ICC, this is the way you will draw. How will you draw angel curve? So if you have not seen what is ICC and what is angel curve, I would urge to see uh, I would urge you guys to see and have a look at uh, the basic recording for income consumption curve and, and angel curve in intermediate micro one playlist. You can see that. Now, angel curve is drawn in income and commodity space. So I'll draw the angel curve for commodity X. Angel curve for commodity X. Right. Angel curve for commodity X. Well, okay. So you have angel curve. Note that angel curve is drawn for, drawn in income and commodity space. So you have income here. You have commodity here. Income consumption curve is drawn in commodity space, X and Y space. It is drawn in M and X space, angel curve. But you have already seen that Y is equal to X minus 2 upon 2. That is giving you the optimum. And your budget constraint is price of X, 1 into X plus price of Y, 2 into Y equals to M. Right? So, in place of y, I can write this. So this thing becomes what? 2x minus 2 equals 2. x will come out to be m by 2 plus 1. x will come out to be m by 2 plus 1. Now just think about it. I mean, just keep on increasing the values. So if income and consumption, so if income is 10, X is going to be what? 10 upon 2, 5, 5 plus 1, 6. This is what you have got. When income was 10, X was 6. Right? Okay. <laughs> when income is, let's say, 2, Mm -hmm. When income is 2, then it is, what is x? 2 upon 2, 1, 1 plus 1, 2. When income is 0, x is still 1. x is still 1. Right. So you can have 1, 2, 6. Right. So you have 0. Um, So income is when income is zero, x is zero. Oh, sorry, x is one. When income is two, x is two. When income is ten, x is six. This is what my angel curve is. So angel curve is this different values of x and x. Values of x and x. Now, we can also ask you one question depending on uh, the boundary solution. So just think about it. That is for what values of dy? 
So I'll just write the question. So assuming EY equals to one. For what values of uh, or for for px equals to one? I'm so sorry. For what values of py <laughs> does the consumer consumer have boundary solution. Boundary solution at x-axis. So boundary solution at x-axis means that you are not consuming y, right? Well, you know that at optimum, MRS has to be equal to price ratio. What was MRS? 1 plus y upon x. Px is assumed to be 1. You need to find out the values for Py. And at boundary optimum for x. At boundary optimum. At x axis. Right. Your um, y would be 0. So if y is 0, it is 1 upon x is equal to 1 upon py. So py equals to x. Hmm. Py equals to x. So for all values of py, when it is equal to the amount of x, hmm, they will be constituting the boundary solution. They will be constituting the boundary solution. And just think about it. You've got the boundary solution here. And you are consuming x equals to 2. Note that price here was also equal to 2. Price of y is also equal to 2. Right? So you want to write one line if you want. For uh, all values. For all py. Hmm. For all values of py. will have its value equal to the amount of x. To the amount of x for different levels of income. In case of boundary of it. In case of boundary of it, right? So this is uh, what I wanted to do. And guys, you've seen that there is a boundary solution out here. So, so this is uh, what I wanted to do in this recording. I hope this was useful to you. Thank you, Vidal.